Hi, my name is Aram, and in this video I will give you a high-level walkthrough of Videolab, called Diffix flagship product. I will first explain how we typically set up a Videolab instance. Then we will dive deeper and look into how users can create recordings, share them and ask and provide feedback. At the end of this walkthrough, I will also discuss how we can integrate Videolab with your existing software ecosystem. And briefly talk about the security of the platform. We always set up Videolab as a dedicated instance for each of our customers. By default, we run it on servers located in one of the most technologically advanced yet privacy-aware countries in the world, i.e. the Netherlands. Your security and operations team can decide where they would like us to set up Videolab. We can even run Videolab on-prem completely sealed off from the internet. Videolab has many flavors and deployment options that cater to your specific workflow. We will walk through these options and create your own customizations during your Videolab instance setup. There are three different ways to create and upload a recording to Videolab. The most common and recommended approach is to use our Codific video recording app. CVR provides a simple yet secure way to create and upload recordings. The app is available for Android and Apple smartphones and tablets as well as Windows computers using external cameras. The app allows you to create a video, audio or a still image recording. All recordings are immediately encrypted using best practices in cryptography. Once you're ready with the recording, you can give it a suitable name and upload it to Videolab. Upon the successful upload, the recording is automatically deleted from the device. The second way to upload a recording is by using any other than CVR software or device and then manually uploading it to the Videolab platform. As opposed to CVR where we provide guarantees for end-to-end -end security, this approach means that somewhere the recording will be stored in a non-encrypted way before it enters Videolab. Finally, we also offer seamless integration with Zoom allowing you to easily import your Zoom recordings to Videolab. Once you have uploaded your recording, you can now actually view it, modify it and share it with other users in your Videolab instance. You can update the basic information for the recording, like title and description. You can also label your recordings using a set of predefined tags. ICPC labels are the standard for general practitioners. CANMAT labels are widely used as well, but any other labeling is welcome. As a Videolab administrator, you can freely manage these label definitions. You can edit the recording by trimming it or merge several recordings. The latter is very handy if you have recorded your consultation in multiple takes, for instance, opening, examination of patient and closing. For extremely sensitive recordings, for instance, children patients, our advanced AI algorithms can help you blur all faces on the recording. Sharing is a straightforward thing. Videolab is a closed environment, so you can only share a recording with existing users. Note that sharing can be further tweaked by instance-specific configuration options, such as allowing only within the group sharing, auto-sharing with the trainer, and so on. Most Videolab use cases are centered around asking and giving feedback. There are three different mechanisms to do that, namely by using unstructured text time-specific annotations and structured evaluation forms. The most obvious way to ask and provide feedback is by using the free text field. You can also upload external documents in addition to the text itself. A second way to ask and get feedback 
is to annotate the recording using time-specific annotations. This is also a handy mechanism to steer the assessor towards interesting parts in the recording. Annotations are also available as comments in the right part of the screen where users can engage in interesting discussions. Yet another way to give feedback is by leveraging the structured evaluation forms. Note that as Videolab administrator you can create these forms based on your own methodology or standard. For instance, the MAS 2.0 is a widely used evaluation methodology for general practitioners in Flanders and the Netherlands. We can integrate Videolab with your existing software platforms. The integrations are typically implemented alongside the following three axes. The most widely used integration is a single sign-on for the users, allowing a seamless transition to Videolab from the main platform, such as Moodle, Canvas, Blackboard or even a custom-made solution. To help you with the user management, Videolab can synchronize the users with your existing repositories, such as an ERP system, LDAP, Active Directory and so on. Other information can be imported from external systems as well. Finally, we can export all data to an external system, such as an ePortfolio platform. The only thing we do not export though are the recordings as we will break on our promise to guarantee the security and privacy of the recordings. We are a cybersecurity firm and would love to talk for hours on this topic. However, we've decided to keep security related specs outside this demo. Upon request, we do provide extensive security related documentation, such as whiteboard security and privacy assessment, pen test reports from both external and internal teams, and so on. While there are still a lot of interesting features and options in Videolab, we have decided to keep this demo brief. Please contact us for a live demo or in case you have any other questions.